Hello my god lover and welcome to my channel or welcome back if you've already been here before. If not, I'm so happy to see you. My name is Meline. I'm a Danish makeup artist living in Barcelona in Spain. And for today's two different looks, I pulled out my Interstellar Icon Lux Quad from Pat McGrath Labs Holiday Collection 2020. Yeah, 2020, can you believe it? It's like it was yesterday. But um as for many people, it's like the 2020, it's, it's, it's never happened. Weird. Anyways, uh, if you want to see how I did these two different looks, please hang in there and I will show you. Now, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you have any questions, comments or good ideas for future content, please put it in the comment box. If you like videos like this, please subscribe to my channel. It will be an honor to have you and there are so much more to come, I promise. Now, let's go ahead and do some makeup, shall we? Like always, I'm gonna start by showing you the palette. Here you see it. I'm going to start with the highlighting shade using my flat definer from Sona G. I'm just going to place it on my brow bone here under my brows. It is a golden, lovely color with some pink sparkles in it. Just trying to catch the light to see if I can show you. <laughs> like so. With my Builder Pro from Sonia G, I am gonna use that to put on the transition shade. In this case, it's gonna be the Blue Blood. And um, if you think you've seen it before or heard the name, it uh, is also in the Decadence palette, the Mothership 4. And it is some kind of metallic shade, but uh, with Pat McGrath shadows, you can easily use that in the crease and as a transition shade and uh, just blend them out so they will not appear super metallic. I am just gonna try and blend it upwards and out a little bit. And I'm using the stamping motions here uh, because of the stripes I will get if I just go back and forth immediately. Dip the tip of the Builder Pro into the blue blood and I'm just going to intensify it here and I'm doing it very, very gently because I don't want this color to be very heavy here in the inner corner part. I am imagining a line going from my eye here following the shape and uh, I do not want to cross that. In the old days we always learned that from your nose and to the outer corner and up to the brow and we shouldn't go past that but that can be a little bit cut off sometimes with the makeup. So I am imagining the line and I am then gonna place a little bit more of the blue blood here to close off the outer corner here and to deepen it up i'm just stamping it on going up to the crease here and then slowly blending it into 
the middle of the eyelid. Using the tip of the same brush, same color, and using it to make an eyeliner here under the eyes. I'm going to be careful not to stick my <laughs> brush into my eye. So I'm just going to go into the middle of my eye here. Brushed off the color and dipped into the Divine Dahlia. It's a very cool tone brown with some green shimmer as you might be able to see here when I'm putting it on and the light is hitting it. And I'm just putting it on the border of the blue blood and then blending it into the middle. It's just a hint of color here. Just to use all four colors in this look. Because I want to be sure that the next color is going to be super intense, I'm using the intensifies and I'm just putting it on the mobile lid here all the way up till the Divine Dahlia, like so. Now for the color Hypnotic. It's a bluish purplish color and it's like almost a light in the dark. It's so pretty. So, so pretty when the light hits it. Looks like a baby blue, but it shifts to purple. It's a wonderful shade. I'm going to use the same shade under my eye and to intensify it, I'm going to use the intensifies. So you want to use it as an eyeliner that stays and it's very intense. For this task, I used the tip of my flat definer and I'm going to put it on here on the intensifies. Mixing it into the blue blood. Brushed off the color on my flat definer and dipped into the highlighting shade. I want to amp up the look a little bit, so I'm going to put on a liner. I'm going to try and put it as close to the lash line as possible. I'm only doing it on the outer half to give it this cat eye effect. Here you see the look with a little bit of mascara on and some tight lining with a black eyeliner. I'm now going to go off cam and put on some lashes. Here you see the look with some false lashes on to see what that can do for a look. Now I'm going to go on to do the next look on the second eye. I'm going to start the same way I did with the other look by placing the highlighting color under my brow here on my brow bone just to lift that up a little bit and stand out. I did my Sonia G Worker Pro into the Divine Dahlia, the darker shade in the palette, the one that is kind of a cool tone brown tone brown but it has some specks of greens that makes it a little olive like and dark taupe and it, it's a very it's a very beautiful mix actually going in once more with the same color same brush now focusing it on the outer part here to make it a little bit deeper 
and then just blending it out. I'm doing it very gently as always to not move around my wrinkly skin too much. So this is what we have so far. I'm now changing brush to my Builder Pro and then I'm going to pack on the color here on my inner part of the mobile eyelid. And here you can see the greenish hue it has to a little bit more when I pack it on like this, hopefully. Same brush, same color. Now on my outer part of the eyelid here, just the outer third. So I'm leaving a blank space in the middle for another color. Just packing it on, stamping it on. Pulling out my intensifiers again, just to put that on the blank space here in the middle of my eye here on the on the mobile lid. Dipped my Builder Pro brush from Sonia G into the Golden Polaris, the one I started out with using as a highlighting shade. Off cam, I put on some intensifiers under my eyes because I really want these colors to stand out. Now for some Divine Dahlia on my flat definer brush. Just the outer third, same brush, same color. The inner third here with some Divine Dahlia. Very close to the lash line. Oh, I might have gone too far here. Now some Golden Polaris. And I'm just going to put it here on the middle part, hopefully. And blend it into the Divine Dahlia. Like so. I'm going to use the Golden Polaris as an inner corner highlight. I'm going to put on some black eye pencil on the waterline. I already did a little bit of tight lining and now I'm just putting it on the waterline, as you can see. It is the, I think it's called Extreme Black from Pat McGrath. I'm now going to do a liquid eyeliner, so I'm going to turn my head a little bit. Hopefully you are able to see everything I do here. This is what it looks like with a little bit of mascara on. Uh, look with uh, just two colors. It's possible. Now I'm going to go off cam and put on some lashes. This is the finished look with some lashes on. I still don't have any makeup around my eyes and the full face, but I'm going to scoot to the side here so you can see what it looks like when you see both eyes kind of close up. I'm now going to go off cam and put on some makeup uh, so you can see what it looks like with a full face of makeup. 
So this is the finish to looks with a full face of makeup. I'm now going to put on my glasses and then I'm going to tell you what else I put on. On my cheeks, I used the Nymphette Divine Blush from Pat McGrath. On top of that, I used the Golden Nectar Highlighter. Maybe it's better to catch light here. Yeah. On my lips, I put on the Matte Trans lipstick in the color Omi. And to uh, spice that up a little bit, I uh, put on the Opulost Lavendering. So here you see how you can use a quad and uh, still get very different looks out of it, um, as you can see here. So if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you have any questions, comments or good ideas for future content, please put it in the comment box. If you like videos like this, please subscribe to my channel and you are up for so much more, I promise you. Anyway, for today, I want to thank you so, so, so much for uh, taking your time out of your schedule to watch my video. And I would like to wish you an awesome day. Thank you so much. Bye. Mwah.